Hey, with summer around the corner, parents and guardians are gearing up for camps, summer activities, they want to keep the kids engaged. Many are looking for activities that are not only fun, but can build skills and keep your family moving. So Cone Health's Play lead teacher, Samantha Ray, is here with us today to help prepare your kids for enjoyable summer experiences. All right, so let's just kind of start off with why is it so important to have our kids be so like active and engaged at a young age? Yeah, absolutely. I think that one of the biggest things that we've seen really even in the last four or five years is that kids are on their phones and on screens mm -hmm. and um, not really engaging with others as much as we would really like. And so when we get them involved in those activities, not only are their fine motor skills developing and their cognitive skills developing, but they're also just learning how to socialize offline. Okay, and which is important, right? Yes. We all know that. Okay, so <laughs> camp is one of those activities for kids over the summer. Not everyone thinks that they're a camp kid, so let's talk about what are the benefits of camps. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, you know, whether it's for a day or a week or a month or even for the entirety of the summer, camp allows um, children and youth to set even short-term goals of by the end of this day that, you know, I want to climb higher on a rock wall or by the end of the week that, you know, I want to make new friends or even by the end of the summer, just that they have a new overwhelming amount of confidence whenever they approach the next school year and things like that. And those are cool things that I had not thought about of camp, right? That's really the why you go to camp. It's not just for fun, but it is to yeah. learn how to set goals and to do those things. All right, so some parents, they need to be, uh, you know, kind of given an idea of what they should look for because they're new to this game too. What should they look for when researching summer camp? You know, something that we say at play is play is where fit meets fun. And so whenever we're engaging in these camp activities, especially at play, our goal is to keep them active, keep them inspired, keep them motivated, and keep them safe. So cultivating an environment where they're able to have fun, but also develop over time. All right, and Cone Health, of course, they have some fun camp activities. Otherwise, that, that is why you're <laughs> here. So let's tell, tell us a little bit about some of those fun activities. Yeah, so each of our camps is gonna have a theme for the summer. Um, and so each week there will be a different theme and it's gonna be a Tuesday, Thursday program. And it may be anything from Nature Week to America Week to Sport Week to even Under the Sea Week. And so we're trying to engage in activities that encompass those themes, but also just keep the kids moving the entire time. All right, speaking of keeping the kids moving, we're going to get moving because the <laughs> benefits of movement is a big deal. So let's show one activity. I think we've got the basket of goodies <laughs> over here. All right, and so what is this example? So for this one, it is super easy um, to engage with all age groups. Mm -hmm. um, it keeps that hand-eye coordination moving. Whenever we're on site, we kind of set up a court more so, but we just call this balloon volleyball. And okay. you just simply pass the balloon back and forth. All right. <laughs> and you know, over time, depending on the age group and what, what kind of you know, generation you might be working with, that you can kind of incorporate like, hey, this is how we play volleyball uh -huh. or things like that. We can set it. Gotcha. Um, it also kind of allows the environment of teamwork and mm -hmm. getting back to that sense of you need a partner for this activity. So how are you going to do this activity alone? You can't. You can't. You have to <laughs> engage in someone else, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right, so after the break, we're going to talk to Samantha about things to try at home that you can do at home to keep your kids engaged and active. We'll be right back. <laughs> 